Bearing the king's banner, Podrick awaits the arrival of Prince Doran Martel of Dornay along with Tyrion and Bronn. As the Dornishmen approach, he correctly identifies the heraldry of several Dornish houses, to the approval of Tyrion. Bronn replies that he needs a sigil. When they learn from the envoys that Doran's brother Oberyn Martell has come to the city instead, and that he arrived before dawn, Podrick accompanies Tyrion and Bronn to Littlefinger's brothel to greet Prince Oberyn and his paramour, Elaria Sand. In the aftermath of Joffrey's assassination, a gold cloak approaches Pod, offering him knighthood if he agrees to testify against Tyrion, who is suspected of committing the crime. Pod refuses and later speaks to Tyrion in his cell. He reveals that Bronn is currently being investigated for information on the poison used to kill Joffrey, and that by refusing the gold cloak's offer, Pod has implicated himself as a suspect as well. Tyrion insists that Pod flee King's Landing before he too is arrested, and Pod tearfully agrees only after Tyrion outright orders him to do so. Before he leaves, Tyrion comforts Pod by saying he is the most loyal squire anyone could hope for. When Brienne of Tarth is tasked by Jaime Lannister to locate and protect the missing Sansa Stark, he assigns Podrick to act as her squire. Brienne initially rejects the offer, believing that Podrick will simply slow her down. However, Jaime insists that Podrick is not safe in King's Landing and this is a favor for Tyrion. Before Podrick departs with Brienne, Bronn gives him a gift from Tyrion. It is the axe Tyrion used during the Battle of the Blackwater. While on the King's Road, Podrick is having difficulties with his horse, much to the annoyance of Brienne. The two are on their way to the Castle Black, where Brienne believes Sansa has been taken in by her half-brother, Jon Snow. Brienne tries to get rid of Podrick by releasing him from the vow he swore as her squire, but to no avail. At their campsite, Podrick sets fire to a rabbit he was trying to cook, even though he did not even skin it properly. Brienne questions Podrick about his duties as squire to Tyrion. He tells her his job was mostly pouring wine, alongside other menial tasks. Brienne then asks if Podrick did anything related to combat. Podrick reveals how he killed Esser Mandon Moore of the Kingsguard by shoving a spear through his head when he tried to kill Tyrion. Brienne then allows Podrick to help her remove her armor. Later on, Podrick and Brienne stop at an inn where they are served kidney pie made by none other than hot pie who proceeds to tell them at length the process in finding the right ingredients. He then asks of Brienne's business, to which she replies that she is in Caitlin Stark's service to find and protect Sansa Stark. Hot Pie leaves after addressing the Starks as traitors. As Brienne and Podrick prepare to leave the inn, Podrick reminds Brienne that telling people of their quest could be dangerous. However, Brienne's honesty is swiftly rewarded when Hot Pie approaches and gives them a baked good shaped like a direwolf. He tells them that he knows nothing of Sansa but last saw Arya alive and hints that she was being sought by the Hound. Podrick, having memorized the complex family trees of the Great Houses, suggests that they head to the Eyrie, realizing that Lisa Aaron is the Hound's only remaining chance of a ransom. After a night's rest, Brienne and Podrick discover their horses have disappeared. Brienne blames her companion for not hobbling them correctly and forces him to carry the saddlebags. Later, Brienne encounters a young girl practicing with a thin sword and the two briefly bond over their shared interests. However, the situation turns hostile when Podrick correctly identifies the girl's companion as Sandor Clegane. Brienne realizes the girl is none other than Arya Stark and tells her that she swore to her mother to keep her safe before her death at the Red Wedding. Sandor, seeing Brienne with a sword forged in a style typical of swords made for the Lannisters, refuses to hand over Arya to Brienne and believes that she is merely here for the bounty on his head. Even after Brienne convinces him this is not the case, Sandor still refuses, impugning Brienne's ability to protect Arya. Brienne and Sandor engage in a vicious duel, while Podrick watches instead of keeping an eye on Arya. Brienne emerges victorious, but the two have lost sight of Arya, 